Rakdos has returned. And we're going to continue to smash the Dorvan Tunnels. Alright, so we did get inspired in our last episode to go through a full spell power kind of build and see if we can maybe make that work in the future if these two teams fail us. But for right now, we are going to continue forward. We're looking for this experience steel right up here. But to get there, we're going to have to go through a Berserker, two Treasurers, and a Defender. Shouldn't be too bad. The Treasurers don't seem to be too difficult of an enemy. Uh, and the Scare Squad is going to test their metal. Let's see what we want for them. It embellishes my undead features. I know, Aratus. You just look so handsome with these shackles of war. Uh, uh, we're going to make sure they can't become inspired. We are going to... Leave on the spell power garb. That's not too bad. Uh, more digger souls. They lose a block. Uh, we're going to do the drums, I think, for this one. Fetching. Give them a little bit more initiative so that we can get our whole uh, nightmare <laughs> combo set up as soon as we can. And... For the weapon, grappling hook is just all around good. Now yeah. I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. I can't interrupt him. He's just so suave. Uh, all right, so we got that. Nothing to do with the. Graveyard Digger Souls. We'll upgrade these guys when we need to bring them out next. And do we want to use a consumable? We have so many. You know, using them is, is kind of... Not using them is, is a mistake. You know, you're going fine, everything's easy, and then you just hit that one fight that you could have, you know, dropped a consumable in. Uh, well, since we're scaring them... You know what? What we'll do is we'll use the spider web now I will and reduce all of the enemy's initiative, and we will bring in well, the even outdoor more than previous because uh, we won't need the extra initiative if they all lose eight initiative. So that'll put that item to some use. Let's make it happen. I'm just refreshing my chat here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Ha! Ah, you only went second, or you only went last one time. That was a uh, mistake. Now you're going to go first every time. I'm just going to have to make you wait. We're going to drop the Amuk on her. Rage released! Get that powerful insanity. That powerful dread. We're going to put up the shield on the brain boy defend the brain boy. You know what? We need to name the skeleton something about defending our brain, right? We gotta come up with some kind of clever pun or something. And I hate to drop the, you know, insanity cloud on him, because I really don't want him to go berserk before he attacks for the first time, so we'll put it up front. 3% chance? Hasn't happened yet. Oh, there ah, still be I'm enough due. Left to I am due. You got unlucky, that's good. We're going to get you in your stance. I'm not sure if these guys uh, move on their own, so I'm not sure if this is the best call necessarily, but it's what she do, right? That's what she do. Okay, he buffs his allies. That's good to know. Why are you always critting on me, bro? Get counterattacked. I don't know what that does. Let's see. Okay, that's the thing that lowers accuracy and luck. Huh. That's really bad to do on him because his accuracy is already really awful, so... Good, he didn't go insane. Oh, now he's insane. Berserking. Man, they all have so much ward. How am I supposed to get through this? Uh, we're gonna... Really want you dead, but gonna get through that. Do we shield banger just to try to get him down? No, it's too early. 
Let's keep blocking. I can't afford to have a unit get murdered that easily. And then, I hate to do it, but we're probably just going to have to use the cloud on, on this ward. At least your wards are gone now. Now double cloud up. Banshee still in her defensive. Uh, or sorry, not defensive, but she's still in her stance. Shuffle them. At least he's hitting. All the wards are gone. We clear the wards. Ah, this is a tough call. Uh, I know that the Defender Dwarf, uh, the warrior in the back, will move on his own. He will try to shift up if he's back here. This guy, I think, moves on his own. I don't know what these guys do when they're up front, but they probably move, I would imagine. So we're just going to try this one more time. Yeah. Let's see if they move. Redirected. Get counterattack. He did shift. He shifted back. Oh, son. You are... Oh, boy. That was... Ooh. Now he's going to do the same thing on his turn, I bet. Yep, now he's going to move. Oh, I made a good call. The counterattack was a good call. Yep, he's going to shoot him. Oh, get counterattacked. Shift yourself back. Double cloud damage. Oh, instant auto kill. I think that was the auto kill. That was not. That was a heart attack. Look at this. That was one of the strongest domino effects that we've seen so far. And that's why we don't want the Berserker to be Berserker. That right there. That he almost killed our skeleton while he was in defensive stance. So we are going to drop some stress on you. Cool. Just needed that to happen. That absolutely needed to happen. And then we are going to even put you in defensive stance. Instead of using the shield banger. No, all my units are going to go before this guy, so he'll probably die. It is a slight gamble, but... <laughs> Buddy? Cool. <laughs> I was a little worried. Vanishes from this world. Okay. A third acid gland? I wonder if I can do something with those. Let's just start popping them on random people. I got another heavy armor. It's two of the same thing. I thought I got this last time. I don't see it. Question mark? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, well, it's still bad, so we're definitely not putting it on. And it's time to pump up his level by eating some of these artifacts that we're not using, so we're never going to use that. We're done using this. We're, we, we're going to have brains to get people above level 5, so we're never going to use that. Uh, these are the experienced ones we might use. 40 mana for each unit that fled. It's not good now, but I don't know what the next floors hold, so we're going to keep a hold of that. These are good, these are good, these are good. Good, good, good. That's great. Experience for those who have escaped. That's stronger than the mana. I'm pretty good at sustaining mana right now, so we're getting rid of that. Wow, a thousand experience. That's really good. Almost got him to his next level. Anything else we want to pitch? Nope. We'll, we'll wait for now. We gotta level up. We need to swap places in here. Bring her out. Put in the skeleton. Uh, all of these are manned by two people, so except the mortuary. At some point we're going to have to upgrade this mortuary. And we don't want to be in a position where it doesn't have two open slots when we need it to. You know, we might not have enough digger souls at that time. So let's go ahead and unlock the next mortuary. Upgrade with the wraith here. I'm really glad that it automatically fills with common parts when you're doing this. In the earlier versions of the game, it would use the strongest part that you had available. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my putrefied gut? <laughs> I love these lines. More space. And who are we sending out? Oh, we get an item. Let's get the item before we decide. You are putting a smoke bomb in here for me, cultists. Come on now. Come on now. You couldn't have given me the attack me more mask. 
I wonder if units can have two of the same item. That I don't know. What's so funny is I'm avoiding this, and I'm avoiding it because I know that at some point my own units will attack my blood phantasm. But I swear, if I find out this doesn't trigger on your own units, I will be so upset because I could have had this up and running and doing a lot for me. Uh, this is not the run for science this way though, because once I put it on him, you know, I could just put something else on him. But the time that I do 22 damage for three turns to one of my own units is just going to die. Unless I use the Lost Soul. No, it's just going to die. Uh, what do we got here? Do we really take the smoke bomb over these? I think we do. That's so funny. I was, I was ragging on him for giving me a smoke bomb, but ultimately that kind of wins a fight for us, so it's pretty valuable. Our first elite berserker. That's absolutely frightening. Uh, the taskmaster, the guy with the pipe, will hit all of our units, so that will work really well for our shield and counterattack stuff. Uh, I think they shuffle around a little bit too. Unfortunately, the uh, the the dwarf lady she doesn't actually attack so she's not gonna be super great here super great for our counterattack squad but I'm I'm acting like I have a choice you know what I kind of do all it would take is for me to just create a new level 9 just pop it in right here he would be even stronger than uh, what we have currently No, driving them insane is always risky when there's a Berserker, and the Berserker's uh, upgraded, so we are going to use this team. Let's pick your next major upgrade. I like to upgrade just a Bite next, because I do like using that for restoring her health. 50 Vigor, that's just so much. You know what, I think we're okay on that. Target loses all block. That's very good, actually, because our uh, our counterattack Dampier needs them to not have block to heal. So being able to remove their block is pretty strong. I expect results. And then I can up her a lot of different things. Let's up her evasion. I don't want her to be hit. Ignore her, right? Ignore her. Mm -hmm. And then for the Blood Phantasm, I, I, I'm just so scared of you dying. So we will give you a magic resist, I guess. Give you a major ability upgrade. I can make transfusion buff up our units, or I can give him some health and make the transfusion... What? I did not know that this is how that functioned. So if I choose this upgrade path, I can actually direct attacks from certain units to him. Kind of like how the skeleton does. That's actually busted. That's actually super busted because the only unit that's really vulnerable in our team is the Lost Soul. The Lost Soul can't heal itself. So the only way that I heal the lost soul is by biting the blood phantasm or having the lost soul blast the blood phantasm. If I did this, I could block the lost soul and no attacks could hit her. And then every time he's hit, she would heal. So this is like the ultimate way to keep the lost soul alive. I think with this upgrade, wow. this team's kind of an Ooh, invincible, so or uh, at least incredibly good at sustaining itself outside of just like a random, you know, random crit. Three acid glands, come on now. An acid gland should go on this team. It absolutely should. Uh, just who gets it is the question. What does it say? Ability use. So I could put it on her. I'm worried about.
about her maybe stripping my own units of their armor resistance. I, this game is funky, you know, you never know what's going to work like that. Increases damage dealt by 10%. I wonder if that affects the shield. It should, I would imagine. These units are pretty kitted out. Saving that open spot for her just in case I get that mask that allows her to be targeted a little bit more frequently. And the major upgrade for you is going to be... So more stress damage or ignores ward. I think ignores ward is the best one for this. Because if they're if they have ward and they're in a stance, you need to be able to get past that and move them to get them out of the stance. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Could give her another initiative. Sure. I'm okay with not having a ton of accuracy. Sometimes when she blasts our own units, if our own units have a lot of dodge, they can dodge her blast. So, that's pretty strong. Alright. Uh, oh, we almost forgot. I've been doing good about getting our equipment set before each fight, but almost forgot there. It embellishes my undead features. Kill with a crit. Ring. Smoking gun would solve all our accuracy problems. It would make sure our minions pretty much never missed. Mm -hmm. It's too risky. I don't want to. I don't want to have lose a unit to something silly like that. Uh, we're gonna keep the grappling hook on, and we're great on mana. Don't need that. Uh, scroll of skull fall. It's an elite fight. There's at least one elite, so we do want to use something here. Let's drop a smoke bomb. Embellishes my undead features. All right. If you learn anything from the playthrough, it's use your resources. Don't hoard them. You definitely need to use them actively. Uh, we're going to take away both the blocks up front. Inhale this wretch. Gonna buff her up. Yep. I liked using weight on her on round one. I hadn't considered that before, but I think that's really smart because I do want to increase their initiative. She's really got nothing to do but put shields up right now. So we will wait. Get your counterattack started. I will get through your ward, I think is a good call. Yep. Lucky block. So that's the attack I was talking about that hits everybody. Get crit on. And last but not least, we'll put up the shield. Wish I would have got the shield up before, but can't change that. Our units need so much initiative. How you go for her? How do you go for her? I'm 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 losing it here. I'm losing it. Any damage received is doubled? Yeah, we gotta get you out of there. I can't. I just can't. This is so risky. I'm doing it. Okay, and now we're gonna use the move that lets you move back. Because I just can't have you die to something silly like that. I kinda wanna use the repulsive mark, but no, I just can't have double damage. Try to kill the, uh... Task the traitor first, yeah. Traitor first. Well, I could hit him from all the way back here. It's pretty good. Carve open their husks. Good hit. All right, and now again we are going to increase their initiative 
which will cause some of these units to move ahead of the dam here, which is what I really want. Hopefully. This will be your end. Nope, dam here still gets next move, even with the boosted initiative. Okay. Uh, who gets targeted here? You're already a coward. So let's try to drive you insane. Huge crit. Drove him insane instead, that's fine. Yes. 28 damage for free, and then 23 damage on top of that. Uh oh, he went insane. He needs to die. Alright, you put your stance up. We'll be able to get rid of that pretty easy. Hate Eternal? Yeah, I think it's a Hate Eternal time. Did I buff you at all? I didn't. My mana's great. I can use this buff. Yeah. Buffed up. Give you even more attack. Drop this giant Hate Eternal on this team. Well, he missed the task master. I'm okay with that. Oh, she can heal. Okay, it's a heal over time, thankfully, so it doesn't happen immediately. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to get into this fight. When an ally is targeted from damage, remove all debuffs from them and restore sanity. Okay, so I can't hit anybody but him. Or I can buff. Let's buff her. I actually think that's really good. Because she's about to do a ton of damage to this guy if everything goes right. No, that's only once. That's only once. This is... It's more impactful to do this. He needs the damage more. This is what I wanted to do. Misleading Beauty, 120% of the damage. So this would have done like... 56 or something? Yeah, we're gonna get you out of your stance though. Uh, do I use a spell? My man is doing fine. I'll drop this spell. This wretch. And then get out. That's not good. Well, I can get rid of your stance with this. My kingdom comes. Got it. Insanity over here. Uh oh. Berserker is going to get to go. I totally forgot about that. Oh no! Oh no. Alright, it's transfusion time. It's transfusion time. Grand transfusion. We're going to mark her. Or uh, block for her. So she cannot take direct damage. And you just killed yourself. You just killed yourself. Alright, don't heal anybody important. Okay. Are you dead to the fire? You are not. We need to kill you. Um, nope. Just kidding. We need to heal up her. Well, she's the only unit that's hurt. So I can just put her in the mortuary and we're good. And I now have two spaces open. So, if I do anything else, he's going to get another attack, which could just wipe, wipe out my team. So, we kill him. That's what we do. Nice 147 damage. That's, that's some real damage. Uh, and we're done with the whole counterattack silliness, so now it's time to just kill. I... But I do want to kill her first, because if she's the last one on the field, I remember she runs away. So we're going to want to kill her first. You will soon embrace your new existence. So much damage. Kind of want to take off their, their buffs. Because he's going to heal 25 bigger at the start of his turn. I can kill them either way. 
she can't heal herself, so nothing better to do, really. Okay, he's using his uh, his buff move. Gives him a block and a ward. Yeah, let's just skewer him. Try to do this first. There we go. Get rid of her block. Cool. This should be an easy cleanup here. He doesn't really have a bunch of debuffs on him, so we're just gonna. Oh, miss. Weight on her just in case anybody else takes some damage. 48, 37. It's gonna be this one. No crit. Darn. 63% chance to crit. She took another six. That's sad. And you're dead. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. So, the uh, Dwarven Tunnels is definitely a lot harder. Or, you know, actually taking a ton of damage on at least one of our units. But thankfully, the way we're playing uh, is prepared for something like that. So, we're good, good, good. Good on Digger Souls. Nothing left to, to do here. We got one talent point. Pretty much not interested in any of this stuff. Unless we want to go here. This is pretty good for just getting a debuff on them, because we have a lot of stuff that uh, cares about debuffs on the enemy. I'll, I'll, sn I'll snag it, no big deal. And what's up next here? Yes, we made it to our very first steal. Uh, units are looking good, experience-wise, at least I think. I don't really think they need experience. But then again, Scare Squad is lagging behind. I'm finding that more and more fights are not really conducive to them and are a little bit better for the counterattack team. So maybe we give them some experience here. We have so many other floors to gain experience for Aratus as well, so let's do minions this time. And we're going to use the Scare Squad in here. Hmm. Should be fine. Should be fine. No elites or anything crazy. So let's switch it out. We're going to use the spell power. Can't be inspired. Yeah, I need the initiative. I want to. I want to have higher initiative. Uh, and Grappling hook is fine. I don't think there's any real reason to change that up. Grappling hook is so just, it's just solid, just really solid. All right, two cents major upgrade here is going to be accuracy most likely. He just needs to hit, so I don't even really care about what this is going to do for him. I just need him to not miss. And for stats, yeah, we're going to save up for more life. You just need more life, buddy. Over here. A little bit more magic resistance wouldn't be awful. Oh, forgot your major upgrade. Speaking of magic resistance, I can gain another one here as well. He doesn't need attack at all. He's good on accuracy. So it's either a... Uh, you know what, actually I'm going to do this because he's up front. He takes more physical damage than magical in most instances. And ignoring block and armor is pretty good. Alright, brain boy. Probably just the life. Yeah. Probably just the life. Kills an ally, heals 20 vigor, kills an ally, heals 25 vigor. Get back to battle. And I can finally put some more dread on you. Yay. Can't put more dread on her though. That's gonna take a lot. 
Uh, I still want to make her not so squishy, so we'll save up for four cost for ten, ten life. That's that's huge. Ten life for four cost is really good. Uh, artifacts are in order. Everything else is in order. Now, we are starting to get a lot of parts here. So what I'm going to do is transmute the skulls. So now I have a 5.3% chance to get a purple uh, because I'm so much further in the level than I was before. I think that's what decides it. And we didn't make it happen. You know what? Let's. We're not going to use greens anyway. We will always try to use either a blue or a purple. That's interesting that it doesn't give a better chance using greens. It just means it can't roll backwards. But 5.3 and 10.5 are the exact same as these ones. So does that mean that I should just be using these every chance I get? That's like polar opposite of how they used to function. Weird. Super weird. I mean, putting, putting uh, green skulls in somebody, it won't feel bad to replace, right? It's not gonna feel bad to override, so maybe maybe that's just the new strat. If that is the case, I'm about to load up on some points here. Yeah. Initiative. Yes. Brain Boy needs to go before they do their shuffling, and now I can get your life. Plus 10 life, sweet. And some more resistance. Awesome, that was good to learn. You have a major ability upgrade that I missed? I'm sorry. Sorry, Banshee. You know what? No. No, no. No, no, no. No! So, absorb fear, no. I kind of want to pick the options that give her dread. Yeah, this one. I expect results. I expect results. So there we go. And Scare Squad is going to drop into this next one. Last video was a little short, so this one might run a little long. I don't have a timer or anything professional going, so uh, we're just going to ballpark it. I think we're good on everything. Let's make it happen. Okay. So we're gonna buff up the dread on. It's normally always the Banshee. Rage released. They have a ton of ward. Look how much ward they have. I didn't consider that. That should have been a consideration. Oh, it's scary to try to drive you insane first. Alright, let's start taking the ward away. That's all we got. Alright, we're going to wait for the counterattack to be up before we do his blind stare. And we are going to defend you, like always, Brain Boy. And we're going to get your new all set up. Cool. Do your worst. I think that moves him as well. It does not. Well, the first one's always got to be a crit, doesn't it? Move yourself back. Cool, he's going to... Ow, 17. Oh, we're chipping away at the wards. Almost took them all off in the first round. That's pretty good. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I need to defend him. As soon as it's uh, the skeleton's turn, I need to defend him. Because I cannot let that happen. And let's get some lucky moves here. Wards are done. He's not insane yet. That's great. Okay. Second cloud goes up front. 3%. Nope. 
defend you. So unless it's an area of effect, uh, it won't it won't hit him. This is a great blind stair setup. Let's drop a sorrow first, right? Who do we really need to get rid of in this team? Probably her, because she's just going to be healing and, and inspiring and doing other kinds of stuff. So yeah, probably her. Distinguish ah. hope. And stare at him. Savor these last few heartbeats. Sweet. Good shuffle. Decay. Corruption. Second insanity. Oh, he, he went berserk. When does he go? Pretty much right now. Right after she moves. Oh, boy. Do I set up a stance? Yeah, I still feel like I do. still feel like I do. Even though moving them will cause so much, so much damage because of these play clouds. kind of want to move him because then he'll move up and he'll definitely shift himself on his turn. And then, the, I mean, the Berserker. Maybe they'll die. <laughs> Maybe they will die, and I will be safe. That's all I can hope for. Gamble. He skipped his turn. Oh my gosh. That dealt so much damage through all of your all of your defense. What is your power? Perfect. Shift it. Even more insanity. Even more insanity. Still no death. All right, we're gonna shield banger since they're all at zero. Totally fine with that. Jeez, you took a lot. Like I need to look at this. Forty-one to fifty, and he crit because he has forty-two percent chance to do so. I see you, but we need you dead. Um, do we sorrow first? Yeah, he's gonna move next, so I, I would say so. Sorrow first. Distinguish hope. And now you move forward, and now you die. And now you move forward, and now you die. And now you move forward, and now you die. Yes! <laughs> yes! My will is a Woo. tide that will wash away your pathetic civilizations. Good job. Good job, Aratus. Ugh, the gamble paid off. That felt great. We only have one unit that kind of had a close call, which is perfectly fine. Uh, although we do have damage on two separate units, thankfully we can handle that because of the foresight and the planning. This was a very fulfilling episode. Thank you guys for watching and joining me. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. Definitely suggest some names for my unnamed units or names for any other units that you'd like to see me build. It's getting to the point where I might start playing around with these units that I don't know what they do, like the Unfrozen and the Black Widow. I was maybe going to save them for my second playthrough, but I feel like this, these teams have been doing so well. Making a third team and uh, using these super high-level brains is actually going to be very beneficial. So having like a third team set up here to handle a different kind of party. You know, one that the counterattacks aren't good at, and one that the insanity team is not good at. So let me know. As always, have an amazing rest of your day, and peace, peace.